Sag Group doesn't do anything halfway, and this year they prepared an amazing show for both the ladies and the men, and a couple of legends that they brought in. Look at this guy, he looks really fit. You can see his, his name here, he's really stretching out, he looks really fit, huh? yeah. in good shape. Well, people are crazy here, they're crazy about ski racing, they're crazy about this event. And this is just great to see all these people here. Last time that I was here was two years ago in Zagreb. You can imagine? So why are we wearing bibs now? Because we're cool. Because we're just cool. Because people don't know what our name is. So we're making sure they know because everyone's so legendary here. But there's one girl in particular who feels more welcome in Zagreb than anyone else. And it's not all about just being a neighbor here. Tina Maza is a home favorite and she's definitely one of the favorites in the slalom too. Uh, yes, I'm really happy. Zagreb is always a special race. It's a lot of people, a lot of my fans coming here. So, yes, I hope I can ski fast tomorrow and, yeah, have fun. After a very fun evening program, it's time for the girls to focus on what's important here, race day. They came up here on Slieme early in the morning, got a bit of warm-up done, and then were able to check out the slope. And let me tell you, it's as icy as it gets. This year Zagreb has an old new queen. Michaela Schifrin put down two stunning runs, winning them both and taking away her second crown in a row. Yeah, I really like the hill and I'm um, very happy with how I skied today on a tough hill and tough conditions. It was really icy and um, staying in the city is really cool and, and very different than normal. And then you come up and there's a mountain in the middle of it all. And, um, to have a day race here, normally it's an evening race and night race, so the second run I can't see anything and, um, you know, I can't, can't see this gorgeous view behind the stadium and it's just like skiing down today into heaven, so I don't know, it's cool. I kind of, I love when it's like this, uh, when it's icy and tough and uh, for sure you got to be tough and you got to go for it here. Uh, it was icy and uh, it's a long hill, but I love it. Like with everything in life, First comes business and then comes a bit of fun. So after the ladies were done with their race and they provided us some pretty cool entertainment for the public, it was time for some guys who used to ski race to show what they could still do years and years later. To be honest, I'm a little scared. I have to say that it's quite icy and uh, I haven't uh, skied on these conditions for maybe 25 years now. <laughs> so you approved it for the ladies race, but you're not so sure this crowd can do it. Christian Gadina really had some fun. He pushed hard and eventually took home the victory. And he was pretty proud of it too. My last race was a long time ago. Thir 13 years, 13, 14 years. No, I like, I like so much competing. <laughs>